my project was uh, to predict experimental platform by examining gene set content. Uh, so I'll do a brief introduction to genome-wide gene expression profiling. Um, this profiling is a central method to explore the global molecular state of mammalian cells. This profiling is used to determine whether the genes are up or down regulated. And there are several assays used to perform gene expression analysis, including various microarrays and RNA-seq platforms. Uh, while many genes are tested by specific platforms, there are a number of genes that are tested by multiple platforms. So we hypothesize that there are significant platform-specific biases in methods of genome-wide expression profiling, which lead to a tendency for certain platforms to identify certain gene sets as being differentially expressed, regardless of experimental conditions. Uh, the ability to understand these biases could lead to improved data to knowledge extraction. To test this hypothesis, we created a model for predicting experimental platform by examining differentially expressed gene lists. Um, the, this model involves the use of two data sets consisting of expressed gene lists submitted into the gene set enrichment analysis tool Enricher by thousands of users. Together, these data sets resulted in approximately 12,000 signatures from 17 platforms, and each signature contained up to 1,000 ranked genes. The gene lists attained through classified and richer gene lists were evaluated with the characteristic direction method, and the gene lists attained through the Creed's L1000 database were evaluated using the Lima method. Um, here we can see the breakdown of the gene lists in each each data set associated with the 17 platforms, and you can see that the platform, certain platforms have significantly more gene lists associated with them, and that's an issue that the model accounts for. Um, the model was applied separately to lists evaluated with the characteristic direction and Lima, and Lima methods. Uh, first, the model uses two-thirds of the data to calculate the probability for differentially expressed genes, and this probability is calculated pairwise for genes contained in the overlap of all pairs of platforms, and the remaining third of the data is used to test these probabilities by testing each potential platform for a chosen test gene list through the probabilities calculated earlier. The probability for differentially expressed genes by platform is calculated by first choosing a platform. This is on the left. Finding the gene list associated with the platform and creating a list of unique gene symbols from those lists. This process is then repeated for a second chosen platform, and the intersect of the two lists of unique genes is determined. Genes not contained in the intersect are removed from all gene lists associated with the second platform, and the probability for each remaining gene resulting from the second platform is calculated. The equation used to calculate this probability counts the total number of times the chosen gene appears in the chosen gene sets, and that would be y. And then it divides this number by the sum of the lengths of the of these same gene sets, which would be the sum of x. These probabilities are then placed into a table for further reference. The model then attempts to determine platform from a list of differentially expressed genes by first determining which platforms contain all the genes in a chosen gene list. Um, if there's more than one possible platform, a pair of platforms from the list of possible platforms is used to retrieve the probabilities calculated earlier. These probabilities are then used to calculate the probability that either platform is chosen over the other. The equation used for this calculation sums the logs of the probabilities for each gene in the test gene set and multiplies that value by the number of genes tested in the chosen platform. This is done for all possible pairs of potential platforms, and a list is created of all platforms chosen in these pairwise comparisons. The platform that has a relative majority is then chosen to be the associated platform by the model. The results of the model were successful, achieving a minimum of 80% accuracy per platform with a mean of 97% accuracy for the characteristic direction method and 99% accuracy for the Lima method. The plot on the left shows the individual probabilities and the standard deviations for each individual platform for each method. It is clear that the model is more capable of predicting associated platform for gene sets evaluated with the Lima method. This is believed to be the results of the characteristic direction method removing natural biases. However, it should be noted that the Lima data set did contain more genes per sign. So effects of gene set size on the model was also tested. Um, as can be seen in the figure on the right, as the gene set 
size increases, so does the overall accuracy of the model. Although the model is able to predict platforms with an accuracy of approximately 80% with 50 genes, it does not reach 90% accuracy for both methods until approximately 90 genes. Therefore, the size of the gene set tested is vital to the accuracy of the model's results. We conclude that it is possible to associate a gene set with the platform used to create the list of genes. This is a first step in determining and evaluating the origin of platform biases, and the results of this model can be employed for further research into this topic and to improve the results of enrichment analysis. I would like to thank all the members of Mayan Lab for helping me so much and these are my references.